Hey tubers and pickers, it's Drew the California Picker. Welcome back to my channel, California Pickin. And I'm just on a big time roll, guys, but I realize I have a disease. A disease of wanting to buy fine art and antiques on a daily basis, <laughs> which is a bad thing. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been spending money right and left, finding some incredible things. I don't know if all, all of them are going to pan out, but they're pretty incredible nonetheless. You guys have seen me do a video or two on Chinese cloisonne. And uh, this actually might be Japanese, but I'm not positive. And I'm going to show you some details here. Generally, Chinese is more busy, and Japanese likes to leave a bunch of this empty space. So the Japanese cloisonne in porcelain is usually more restrained. <clears throat> and the Chinese is more busy and filled in. So let's go check out some details on this fine large platter almost. It's probably 13 inches. It's bigger than a size of a plate, but it's got some incredible details that I want to show you. And uh, I've never owned a piece of finer cloisonne. Well, I have a couple pieces in my collection, but this is certainly right up there with them. And the black is really pretty rare to find black cloisonne. Nice. So here we see a bird on a pomegranate tree. And the detail is fantastic. Now all the outlines of the leaves and the fruit are all done in metal. Little tiny wire called cloisons. And uh, this actually might be a, a blend of cloisonne and champlevé, where there's larger fields of filled-in uh, enamel, but that's all ground glass. And let's check out the bird. Really fine detail, which is what you want to see in this very antique and old cloisonne. Look at that bird's expression. If I can keep the camera steady. <laughs> and, uh, but then the kicker for me was this bug, this praying mantis. Check this guy out. So hopefully it'll, it'll focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Well, anyway, look at the detail in this bug. It has antennae, which are really hard to see. There's the antennae, it's just very hard to see, but look at the detail there, guys. Somebody has come in and filled in all that, all those little fields with enamel, cloisonne enamel. What a stunner. I can't tell you how good that is. There it is again. Incredible. Now let me take it off the stand and show you some things. Being that it is very old. I tell you the old uh, cloisonne is kind of has a matte finish to it. And this kind of has a matte finish. It's not too shiny. It's got a nice border on it. But you see the little pits in the, in the uh, cloisonne? That's a good sign. That means it's older. The new stuff doesn't have that. So those little imperfections are not a bad thing at all. And that's not damage. That's how it was made. This happens to be in a cage. A metal cage put on this to be put on the wall. And the metal cage is very old. And you can see the heavy rust on the cage. So the, I'm always telling you the back of the piece tells you almost more about the piece than the front. And here we see a great import sticker. And those are usually Chinese. But a lot of stuff did go into China and out. See the little crackalore, the little crazing in the enamel? That's all a good thing. 
That sticker was very cool. And look at the work on the back of this. Each one of those are little spiral cloisons made out of brass wire. And it's adhered to a copper ground base. And that forms the plate. It's just really amazing. And uh, I had to pay a little bit of money for this. But I think it was well worth it. And who knows, that just might go in my collection. I don't know, but it's got a couple little condition issues. It's got one tiny little chip. That's what you always have to look in Cloisonne. It's right here. It's a little triangular chip. I could try to try to mitigate that and repair that, or I could have that professionally done. But I'm not sure. And then it's got a little dent toward the top it's kind of dented and what happens is when this stuff is dented you really it's almost like you can't fix it so you just you don't worry about that dent up there see the dent let me see it let me show you big deal you know the dent but if it's a dent and then pops all these cloisons out then it almost is beyond repair but incredible piece and uh, as far as value even with those condition issues I'd say several hundred dollars for sure and uh, real nice find for me couldn't pass it up all right guys if you like the video please share on Google Plus Facebook come on back to California picking tell your friends hit like and leave your comments all right guys keep on picking cheers now love that pre -manus.